Deceased souls, I would like your attention for just a few moments. I have a few questions. Who does he think he is? Have you ever seen such an attitude? Coming to disturb us before we've reached the goal of our final journey? He could at least consult an oracle. Do any of you know Tiresias, the soothsayer? How could we know him? We know nothing of the souls that have passed the gate, stranger. I'm looking for a rock near the junction of the Acheron and the Cositus. And we're looking for a way into the netherworld, so get lost. Ah, that's telling him. I'm looking for certain substances with which to prepare offerings. Do you know where I might find them? I haven't seen any stores, but who knows? Maybe hell is a hot spot for shopping. We have the bare minimum to pay Charon for our crossing. You'll get nothing from us. Do you know if Ulysses, the king of Ithaca, came this way? I haven't seen the king you mentioned. Seems like he's smarter than you. Now disappear, you. You've no business among the dead. Yes, get out of here, you with your questions. Don't bother us anymore. Come on, be charitable. Don't leave a wandering soul in need. Think of those who have nothing to die with. I accept any objects you have no further use for. Help me, please. Take pity. Don't abandon me. By all the gods, it can't be! Hey, friend! Heresius, my friend, what brings you here? Who are you? I don't recognize you. Why, why, Heresius, it's me, Copius. Come on, you've got to remember me. Troy, I it's prison, the Cyclops, you know. But what are you doing here? Well, here I am dead, eaten by a Cyclops. Oh, the irony of it. Since I had no burial place, and nothing to give to pay for crossing the Styx, I'm reduced to begging something from these heartless dead folk. If I don't want to end up a lost soul wandering the earth for eternity... I'm looking for ingredients for an offering. Do you think you could give me some leads? Since my untimely end, I'm stuck here. I can't get to the other side. And here there's nothing you could use for offerings. You, who were an oracle, does the name Tiresias mean anything to you? I've come here to see him. Hmm. He's a famous oracle, your Tiresias. The most renowned of soothsayers. He died long ago, so I would think that by now he's on the other side. Here. I think this should help you cross over. Oh, thank you. You've remained a friend, a brother, even beyond death. Nothing I can do could compensate for your action. In a way, you make my death worth living. But wait, I've got an idea. You can take advantage of the fact that I can finally cross to slip into line. If you're with a dead soul, they'll make comments, but won't dare try anything else. What do you think? Your idea is appealing. It's worth the risk. Otherwise, I think I'd probably die here.
Come on, hurry and give your offering to Charon so we can move on. What a fool. My friends, the mortal who is coming is rather special. That is true. It is indeed curious for a mortal to want to pass in judgment before his time has come. It does show courage. But nonetheless, our judgment shall be neither more clement nor more severe. Horisius, how do you feel you conducted your life? With cowardice, crime, and vexation? With kindness, generosity, and faithfulness. I'm not perfect, but I think I've conducted myself during my life with a certain altruism that has helped me do good around me. <laughs> that doesn't matter much anyway. Let's return to the beginning of your life. You had an easy childhood even a comfortable one, in the shadow of the future king of Ithaca. A lovely youth, but his hands were already about to be stained with blood. The impetuousness of youth, liquor. More like his character fully revealed at last. You killed an innocent person, Heresius. What? Yes, an innocent person. A guard who sought merely to re-establish a little order. It was an accident. It was a mistake! Even under the influence of alcohol, you remain responsible for your actions, Heresius. You killed that man. Ulysses, convinced of his wisdom, preferred to see you banished, rather than face the full severity of justice. That's how you left. Like a thief! I was too young, too unaware of the value of human life. I didn't want to, no... I... Perhaps, but you left anyway. You thus escape the Trojan conflicts. Indeed. You are undoubtedly the only one to have received preferential treatment. I didn't know those combats had erupted. I had already been gone some time. How could I have known? You seem to regret it. Would you too have preferred to commit all those barbaric acts, spit in the face of the gods, and bathed in Trojan blood? No. But I think that had I been able to stay among my people, so you became an eternal wanderer. Of course, you saw many lands and many peoples, but the memory of the murder you'd committed prodded you to move on endlessly, until you found a person and a home for life. Alimir. Your wife. And your unborn son, both carried off by disease. There was nothing but suffering and pain. And during these trials, you cursed the gods themselves. But life, your life, would continue, filled with wandering, with encounters. And good deeds, like bad ones, would pile up on the overburdened scales. Until you felt that you had to return to Ithaca. And about time. There you learned of Ulysses' long absence, and you met his wife, who pleaded with you to find him before the situation on the island degenerated completely. Willingly, then, you left in search of the one to whom you owed your exile. Which is to your honor. Let's look a little more closely at this expedition in search of Ulysses. A case study. Let's first examine all Heresius did to solve the complexities of his journey that soiled the image of the hero he would like to be. He couldn't have. Did he? That's what we're going to see. Arriving in Troy, you didn't attempt to take advantage of that poor merchant who was trying with difficulty to go about his work. That proves nothing. That is not a good deed. Perhaps he acted that way through cowardice. It's not very important. 
There's no point in talking of things that didn't happen. That woman near the garrison, who was needy and prostituted herself for her children's sake. What did you do for her? You could have helped her life change, at least for a moment. Is this the way women are to be treated according to you? Like meaningless commodities to be thrown away after you've had your good time? Are you so barbaric as to believe that? He became the emancipator of slaves in the land of the Lastragonians. Only a demon would have done otherwise. That doesn't make him a hero, just a human being. Neither more nor less. In addition, Cronus was by his side. He had all the time in the world. There was no sacrifice in the sense of giving of himself. In Troy, you assassinated an innocent man. Someone who trusted you. You took him by surprise. A useless murder that moved you further from your goal. Yes. I was the hand that committed that heinous crime. But I was unconscious. If your powers are what they are said to be, you must know the means Merops wielded to force me to do it. To be sure, we have to agree upon the exceptional circumstances of that murder. But he's nonetheless guilty of it. I admit that, but without shame, since I did not desire that death. Yet my path was not entirely streaked with blood. Do you forget why I left? How, out of pure friendship, I left on the trail of Ulysses in order to bring him back to his family? Do you forget those who were condemned to sure death and whom I saved? Do you forget Copius and Circe? We forget nothing. But don't let those deeds go to your head. Have you even considered the consequences? After all, maybe you had no choice. Circe had transformed you into a pig. As for Copius, your generosity ultimately cost him his life. You knew Ulysses the child, but what do you know of Ulysses today? How can you be sure he is worthy of the quest you've undertaken? Am I then responsible for every man I meet? If their past faults condemn them, must I suffer the consequences? For he who claims to be a hero... But I claim nothing of the kind. I don't want any of your glorious titles. I don't ask to be judged as a hero, but as a man. If that is your wish, we shall judge you as a man. As a mere mortal, you shall have to accept our judgment. Be prepared, O oh mortal, for, in light of your past as a man, we condemn you to Tartarus.